Hello everyone. So today in front of me I have two razor mouses. One is the essential and the other one is the elite. As you can see the essential is fixed to the green color and the elite keeps changing its color frequently. Uh, this is the box for the razor uh, death adder elite and it shows here that it's the razor chroma. This is why the color changes and this one over here is the death adder essential. Uh, as you can see the box of the essential is uh, smaller than the elite also one thing i'd like to add about the essential and the elite that out of the box here you have uh, one sticker from razor for the essential and it's a black and green sticker logo while in the elite you have actually two stickers here and it's uh, silver and black uh, one more thing here the elite has a letter saying unleash your true potentials and speaks about the mouse of razor and the gaming about razor and the razor as a whole company uh, here there's no such letter in the essential i think somewhere they write like uh, unleash your wallet maybe i'm not sure but other than that uh, this is what you get out of the box the differences between these two actually is um, the sensor here so here it says it has a 5G optical sensor, while in the other hand it has a 6400 DPI. So 6400 DPI compared to a 16000 DPI is a big difference in my opinion. But I'm not sure really in uh, the real world that if you'll use the 16000 uh, DPI or uh, it's too much maybe for uh, a sensor to be honest. Uh, other differences is the click button on these mouses. like. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but uh, you can hear the difference. I think the one with the essential is a little higher. Click here. While on the Elite, it is a little uh, more silent. So I feel more comfortable with uh, the silent one and the more responsive, it feels more responsive, the Elite, over the Essential. Uh, so this is one of the key differences between uh, the Essential and the Elite. And as you know, the other differences uh, should be the sensor uh, both on both uh, mouses. But uh, the other differences as shown here, it tells you also that uh, there is uh, two buttons on the uh, two uh, buttons on the Elite and uh, this gives it a total of uh, six programmable buttons compared to four programmable buttons on the Essential. Uh, the other thing I would like to uh, discuss is uh, I find that uh, the Razer Elite is more responsive or has a faster tracking uh, rhythm compared to the Essential. So if you are the type of person who plays Counter-Strike games on your computer or laptop or PC this will be the better choice for you because uh, for fast action games the responsiveness of um, the elite is uh, considerably or noticeably higher than the essential also out of the box uh, if you can see those two buttons over here you can increase the dpi or lower the dpi of the sensor so if it is too fast i find it even hard to control it like you can see on the laptop here. I'm not sure if you can see it pretty clearly. And on the essential, it is, I mean, it's okay. It's uh, livable and you can use it for everything else. Uh, it, you can use it, of course, for the online gaming, but uh, if you're the type of gamer that prefer online shooting, I would definitely go with the essential. If you bought down the sensitivity to the lowest, it gets too slow, really. As you can see, it's pretty slow. So uh, I need to increase the speed to the max here on the settings of my Mac and it's faster, but it's still slow. When I put it on medium, it's slower. When I put it just one degree up, it's much faster. I prefer the medium settings on the tracking speed of the Razer uh, Elite. And if you go too fast, it's difficult to deal with. I mean, you can do it. Some people prefer it, but it's too fast for me. I prefer the medium settings on the tracking speed for the uh, Razer Elite. So when I bought these two Razer uh, mice, 
in the beginning i felt that uh, i wanted uh, the essential over the elite and one of the reasons is uh, the essential is just a bit lighter compared to the elite like about seven grams lighter compared to the elite uh, but other than that the sensor of the elite is better the the clickiness to the to the mouse is better uh, also i prefer the rgb light on the elite over the essential uh, one point to note is uh, it says here on the box at the back that you can use up to 50 million clicks on the elite while on the essential you can actually use up to a certain number which is about 10 million clicks only so yeah 10 million compared to 50 million that's a big difference here it shows 10 million clicks and here it shows 50 million clicks so that's a big difference in my opinion and uh, i was able to buy this for 30 canadian dollars and this for 40 canadian dollars so to me this is not a brainer really uh i'll definitely pay the 10 extra dollars and get the elite uh, the tracking speed, the responsiveness is better, the clickiness to it is better, it's more silent, the sensor is better, you have two extra buttons which you can program, and um, and I like the color, the RGB color that keeps changing. Uh, I don't prefer to stick to one color. Uh, the other thing I would like to discuss with you is um, I'm coming from, uh, as you can see, an uh, Apple computer. I also have an Apple mouse over here. And uh, comparing this to this is like uh, day and night. Like uh, this is, as you can see, the depth of this is very shallow over here. So I don't really feel comfortable using this. As you can see, when I put my hand here, there's a sp an empty space. Like there is no support for my fingers and my palm over here. But with the death adder, it's the most comfy mouse I ever tried, to be honest. I mean, I really like this comfort feel. Actually, I'm thinking even to use this for everything, not just for games, but for computer-aided designs, for engineering, for uh, video editing, for uh, photo editing. So this will be my daily mouse. And uh, between the Essential and the Elite, uh, I really pr prefer the Elite because uh, uh, how responsive it is and how fast it is and the price difference of $10, I mean... Uh, it's really not a big deal to me. Other than that, uh, guys, uh, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Or uh, if you want to ask any questions in the comment section, please do so. And I will try to my best to answer those questions uh, on a timely basis. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later on the next one. Peace. Take care.